This is me, Sphinx15, from Recool TV, and I'm here to show you how much FPS the GTX 580 can get in my Cybercube server. And just to say, it doesn't really, it doesn't affect FPS. Okay, so let's start. F3. I'll show you as well how much FPS the GTX 580 gets when I'm not recording. I mean, when I am recording. Here. That is how much FPS it gets if you are interested. And when I move a bit, it, like, goes a bit down. But it's, it's around 600. That, my friends, is when the render distance is at 8. But if we make the render distance at... 32, I don't think it's gonna be the same thing. So, F3, oh, actually, sort of, it's pretty good, it's around 300. So, if we go to options, if we try just to mess around to make the render distance at 2, we might get over a thousand FPS. Let's mess around with this. Oh, it's not really a thousand, but. I remember once I got it up to a thousand, but I don't remember how. So you have to like mess around with the settings, like get all the the, the animation details off and all of that. It's really really annoying to do that. But hey guys, we're back and we we're here to demonstrate how much FPS the Nvidia GeForce GTX 580 can achieve while recording. Since Fraps can't really record more than 120 FPS, so I don't think it'll be more than that. I didn't see before a recorder capable of recording more than 120 FPS. And I'm lagging a bit, my internet is crappy as usual. And it seems to be locked at 100 FPS. Oh, it's because I locked it, sorry. If we make it unlimited, it will still be at 120. As I said before... Fraps can't record more than 120, neither can any other screen recorder. So if you're going to be recording with a GDX 580, you are actually going to achieve the recorder's limit, which is 120 FPS. That said, being that said, enjoy your GDX 580. You don't have to spend money getting the 960 or the 760 or all that stuff. Well, you can get for only $80 used an NVIDIA GTX 580 for $80 used. And you don't need to get a a graphic a new graphic card because it's not like you're going to look at it all the time. Actually, it's safer to get a used graphic card since there's a chance if you're getting a new one that it would come dead on the box. So, being that said, don't forget to like and subscribe and join Cybercube. And, as I said before in my Minecraft Story Mode series, me and Mob Crusher made a new, like, plugin that the more you play, the more you evolve on Cybercube. Meaning, first, there's member, then there's... Citizen, then there's what What was it? I forgot what was after citizen. Oh, yeah, then it was elder, then it was cyber. So, if you get cyber, you get a lot of cool commands like sash shield and stash feed, and you know, a lot of amazing stuff. So, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And just one last thing let's kill our oh, whoops, let's kill ourselves. <laughs> Bye guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and join Cybercube. The IP is cybercube.apexmc.co.